Hello and welcome to the next video of my LCS Summer 2022 preview. We're covering EG, Evil Geniuses in this one, the MSI representatives from North America. Just getting into the playoffs at 4th place at 9-9. Nine and nine. There was a tiebreaker um, situation that they had to play through to get here. Um, you know, it was an interesting situation to say the least for EG in the playoffs, obviously. Similar to G2, they just ran the table got into MSI, and they hit a wall right away, um, not nearly at the level of G2. Um, they did well, though, given the situation at MSI. I mean, did better than we thought they would. An all-around good team. Um, you know, Inspired's definitely the player that I like the most on the team, and we'll get to that. Vulcan left a lot to be desired at MSI, but regionally and domestically did fine. They signed Smoothie for the Academy roster. Smoothie is a longtime veteran of the um, LCS, so maybe that's to put pressure on Balkan. I'm not sure. Nevertheless, let's get into it. So Impact um, left a little bit to be desired in uh, lane um, with EG this past split under 8 CS per minute with a 52.5 KP. You know, we're kind of in the middle here, more so a split pushing solo lane type guy. And... Um, under 8 CS per minute in continent. 20 kill share, 21 gold share. Um, definitely a weak side player. Can play anything. Played 9 champions in 19 games. Um, you know, I think he is best on tanks um, at this point in his career. I'm not going to lie. I think that is where he should be. Esther, I'm going to go with S, SRTTY. SRTTY, the backup. Um, young. But not ready yet. 781 CS per minute. Similar stats to impact when it comes to KP and CS. Um, 159 KDA. 25 kill share though. 24.6. That's very high. One of the more higher uh, kill shares that we've come across in top. 21.9 um, gold share. If you farm better or at a, you know an 8-3 rate. Or, I mean obviously that's better. That's one half. Uh, CS every other two minutes. Maybe we're looking at a guy over 22 KP. Played 13... Uh, GS, gold share, sorry. Played 13 champions at 36 games. Maybe he tones that down to work on building a better foundation of champions that are LCS worthy. Inspired, one of the better junglers in the world, in my opinion. I love the way he plays um, as a carry jungler. Specify, I gotta specify. As a carry jungler, he's one of the better junglers in the world. Um, gets ahead in lane. If it's just him versus the other jungler, he's gonna win the matchup. May lose the game, but win the matchup. Um, 541 KDA, 59 CS per minute, 72 KP. Like a 71.5 KP is very nice when you have a 59 CS per minute. That means he finds time to get his gold and he has time to make plays. 18 kill share, 19 gold share, 9 champions in 19 games. Good player. Tomio behind him, 275 K9, uh, KDA, uh, 532 CS per minute. Leaves um, a little bit to be desired there at a 67 KP. You'd like the CS per minute to be higher. 19 kill share, 18 gold share. Not ready for um, the LCS. 11 champions at 36 games. Jojo Pune uh, in mid. Young player. Very, very young. Um, youngest player at MSI. We're going to see if he can continue to grow in summer. An 862 CS per minute is on the right side of 8.5. But <coughs> a KP of 60 is not great. When you have an 862 CS per minute, you'd like that to be higher if he's not getting into fights. 20 kill share, I mean 21 kill share, 22 gold share. Um, his gold share does not, you know, this team is all about Danny, JoJo, and um, Impact are secondary players on this team 100%. JoJo playing 8 champions in 19 games. So Ligo behind him as a veteran, played a bit of time with 100 Thieves and I believe Dignitas. Um... 837 CS per minute in Academy is not good enough, and really he wasn't good enough in um, the LCS. That's why he doesn't have a job in the LCS right now. So he has to pick that up if he wants a, you know, another chance. 56 KP, especially with that. That is extremely low. Um, 17 kill share, 22 gold share. So on the Academy team, he had less kills than everybody but the support. As a mid laner, that's not cutting it. You have to do more than that. Um, 14 champions in 36 games. Um, the return on investment's not there with a 16-9 and uh, kill share and 22 gold share. Um, 14 champions. I mean, he's played a long time, but he just he's not doing the job. Um, Danny, 
10.42 CS per minute, one of the higher CS per minutes we're going to find in the four major regions. A very good laner, very good at farming. And MSI, he struggled. You know, we saw, we heard that maybe he had some mental health things going on where he was just a lot of pressure and, you know, struggling early on in the tournament kind of got to him and solo queue got to him. Um, but he's a very good player, young player. 444 KDA, 66 KP, which is solid. 38 kill share, very high. He is probably the more care, most carry. How do I put this? Out of all the teams so far, 38 is definitely the highest kill share. So, out of all the teams so far, he has been the most important to his team. 26 um, gold share, 7 champions in 19 games. Cut. I'm going to go with Kaori behind him. 961 CS per minute's good. Hopefully they're scrimming against each other, doing 2v2s in bot lane. Danny and Kaori, as well as Vulcan and Smoothie. That's just going to help everybody. Um, 961 CS per minute, 65 KP. A player that after summer, if his farm gets better, you may look at and say, you know what, maybe he deserves an LCS shot somewhere. Um, 34 kill share, 25 gold share, 9 champions in 36 games. We get to support with Vulcan. Vulcan played 7 champions in 19 games. The vast majority of that being on Nautilus and Leona, which I am not a fan of in that, you know, I want a guy that can play more than just a couple champs literally all the time. Um, and that came back to bite him in the ass at uh, MSI. Um, so hopefully he works on that in uh, summer. 64 KP is pretty low. It's actually lower than Danny's. You know, I'd like that to be higher. Smoothie behind him at a 72 KP and 217 KDA with CLG last summer. Um, he had Reyes, I believe, as his... Um, no, Reyes was with Immortals, wasn't he? Or was he with CLG? Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember if he was with Reyes. No, because it was Destiny and Reyes. Who was with Smoothie? Oh, no, who was with Smoothie? Mm. Who was CLG's AD carry last year? I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, nevertheless, they were on Struggle Street. I do remember a lot of uh, First Bloods, though. Like, he got really creative with level 1s. But nevertheless, 8 champions in 27 games. Sorry about that. I'm just I'm just trying to think. can't believe I forgot who his AD carry was. But um, that's it for EG going into summer 2022. Comment down below. Do you think EG can return to the international events that after summer? Can they go to Worlds? Um, you know, do you think um, JoJo and Danny are ready to take the next step? You know, comment down below. If you like the video, like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily content. And thank you for watching.